My name is Charlie Love Lady. I'm the third in my family. I'll be in the car, okay, there. All right. I was born 9 99 at 9 o'clock. How's your day going? Good. I'm Rosaria. My favorite color is yellow. <laughs> and I like to draw. Without my phone, there's nothing else to do. Because my mom don't like let me go anywhere. So me using my phone is the only thing I can do. My brother's exactly 10 years, two months older than me. And it's just my mom because my dad died three years ago in May. I've been adopted since I was one year and a half. I love people. It's just really fun to be around people. The majority of my time on my phone is for music. Like, I'm a music head. Like, I'd rather be by myself and listen to music and just vibe out by myself than like, go out and talk to people. So I usually use it for music. You ever meet anybody online before? Yeah, I've met people online before. People that you've never met before in real life? Like, yeah. yeah. My dad, my mom, my nana, they'd be like, why are you always on your phone? I'd be like, I don't know, it's fun. My mom, she tells me I don't communicate with her as well anymore, that I'm always on my phone and stuff. Like, it used to bother me, but she says it all the time now, so it's like, whatever. My mom's like, I don't understand how you're gonna meet people and you're always on your phone. But now, I'm meeting girls that's all the way across town that I wouldn't meet without the internet. Take a seat. Okay. All right, thank All right, you. Thanks. Appreciate it. Hi. Hello. How are you? Good. Are you here for the interview? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like some water? Already. Are you nervous? I'm um, so. Why? I'm just so wondering about the questions. Oh, really? Mm, you're very pretty. Thank you. Yeah. Like your hair. Thank you. You doing natural? Yeah. That's what's up. Of course, me too. Yeah. <laughs> Do you live around here? I live, you know, where EK is. Yeah. I live over by here. So you go to East Kingwood? Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, you're cute. Thank you. Yeah. Where you go to school at? East Kingwood. Oh, where are you a falcon? Oh yeah, me too. I, I can dig it, I can dig it, you know what I'm saying? We out here. I'm Joe. Joe, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What you got up for this weekend? You got a bunch of concerts and stuff and everything going on. Well, my cousin was going to take me to a rap concert, but you had to be 21 to go, so. How old are you? 21. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 I didn't get to make the team. Word. Oh, I'm sure you'll get it next year. Can I have your number? Let me see. Okay, I get it. I'm gonna text you later. Are you from here? You from here? Yeah. Cameron, we're all set for you. I'll be right back for you, okay? Okay. <laughs> well, lately there's been a lot of like random friend requests. My mom's been getting it too, so it's just weird. And when I get like these things, I show my parents and then they say, oh, just delete it. Sometimes my mom be like, you use your phone too much. Cause I be on it all the time, like a lot. I don't know how to explain it. Like, like if it wasn't for the internet, I don't think I'd have the courage to walk up and talk to some of the girls that I've talked to. I don't have to worry about like the awkwardness of like starting a conversation and we don't know each other. We're talking face to face. I have his friend. She dates this dude now that she never seen him in real life. It's crazy. Is that just one friend or do you have other friends? I have a whole bunch of friends that do that. My school, everyone wants to be different, but everyone wants to have the most likes, the most whatever. It's like a competing school. So they're gonna add people that they don't know to get that. My mom, she still doesn't let me be online because she, she still thinks I'm a little too young. I think she's just overprotective and doesn't want me to, like I said, get hurt. Thank mm -hmm. you.
Hello, my name is Leslie. How are you? Good. Have you ever heard of sex trafficking? Yes. Yes. Have you ever heard of it going on here in Grand Rapids? No. I want to tell you my story and how it happened to me. I was always a kid who wanted to fit in. I was dealing with low self-esteem because my parents didn't understand. It had a lot going on at home. And one day this guy pulled up to me, very nice guy. He was kind of cute. We were talking, kind of like that person you met in the waiting room. Started just like that, just a general conversation. You here for the interview? Harmless, out of nowhere. And he started asking me about things that were going on in my family. He sounded very concerned, and he would tell me how my parents shouldn't do this and my parents shouldn't do that. And you know, I fell in love with him. We had a lot of fun. One day after the bar, we go to his friend's house like we usually do, and he had put something in my drink. And when I came to, his friend was on top of me, having sex with me. And right then and there, I was sold into human trafficking right here in Grand Rapids, Michigan. People can become whoever they want to be on social media. It's okay to meet new people, but when you meet these new people, you invite them to your house with your parents and follow your gut. I don't want you to be afraid. I just want you to be aware. You are loved. You are intelligent. You do matter. I want you to tell yourself that every day. See, that was my problem. I had to hear from a stranger, and I paid a mighty price for that. So whatever you're feeling, whatever you may be going through, please don't be like me. Hold it all in and bottle it up. Find someone to talk to. Get the help you need so you don't become another Leslie.